We're here at Oshkosh and I'm looking at an airplane that I really, really caught my eye right away. And I wanted to have a chat with one of their folks to find out some more about it. I'm Dan Johnson and I'm speaking to Josiah, what's your last name? I'm Josiah Vanderbilt with Spirit Engineering. And the reason why I ask is because there's more than one Josiah at this outfit, <laughs> if you can believe that. And uh, where are you folks out of? We're in Western Colorado in Grand Junction. We build uh, the airplane and assemble the engine there as well. Airplane and engine you're that's doing. That's right. Wow, that's, that's right. pretty impressive. And you've got two, sp no one's seen you before. The airplane's been in progress for a while. Obviously, you're all done, but there's a part of this that's really fascinating to me, and that's that you're coming from Colorado here in Oshkosh. There are not one or two, there are four airplanes here, and you flew them all here? Tell me about that. Yeah, so we, uh, we flew four of our airplanes from Western Colorado over the Continental Divide, 12, <laughs> 1300 miles here on 22 gallons of fuel each. <laughs> I don't know what that works out to in mileage. I'll have to do the calculation. It's better than them. a Prius. <laughs> better than a Prius. Right. Is this brand new? Did you just roll this thing off the it's, floor it's, or something? It's, uh, it's brand new in that it's the first time anybody's getting to see it. It's not brand new for us. We've been working on it for a long time, so we're really excited to get to share it. So we've been flying a prototype for over 10 years now. So, But we, uh, we decided about five years, well, seven years ago, to uh, do our own engine because we couldn't find the right partner. So we uh, also are introducing the Spirit V2, which is our engine. And once that partnership came together, then we were able to launch at Oshkosh this year. So I see, okay. So that's what made it a full package for you. That was the full package, right. Got it. So, and we wanted to launch with product in hand. So we flew four airplanes across the Continental Divide from Western Colorado on, all the way to Oshkosh. <laughs> and we've got- Four planes, uh, four, you said? Four airplanes are here. And all we've right. got 21 more. Uh, well on their way on the fact. Is factory. that right? Wow, you, you you came out of here like crazy then. When that you was, finally got ready, you are ready. That was the goal. So uh, we'll have 20 available for purchase this fall. Beautiful. Steve Wood <laughs> is the principal uh, founder, owner, designer. He uh, worked for Cessna for a number of years. He developed the Sky Pup. A lot of ah, okay. fans might know him from that. Uh, he had a, a large uh, defense contracting business, or maybe small, but large to me. And uh, he sold that to build Spirit Engineering. So, uh, yeah, he's the he's the mastermind behind it, all of it. We're just supporting him. All right. Well, very good. So, uh, it's all metal. I mean, that that's very obvious here. I can see because it's it's gleaming in yeah, the sunshine. It's ready to fly. What you see right here oh. is what you're gonna what you're gonna get when you wow. in the factory. Wow. It's mighty pretty. So that's something. Thank you. Well, then I got to ask you. I'm the affordable aviation guy. What kind of money are we talking about so here? So the whole goal completed? here is affordable aviation. All that's right. what the whole company All is right. built off of. So we want to make it affordable to purchase, affordable to fly, affordable to store, affordable to fuel, affordable to maintain. So Beautiful. this aircraft uh, for Oshkosh, the first 20. We're going to be uh, base as 69.5. 69.5, ready to fly? Ready to fly. Yeah. All right, folks, there you go. You've been asking for affordable airplanes. This yeah. thing's a beauty. And the, just to go beyond that, it sips about two uh, gallons per hour, cruising at 100 miles an hour. You can use 91 uh, uh, ethanol free, or you can use under low lead. Really? The wings fold. Can you mix them? Yes, you can Same mix tank, them. you can you mix, mix the two. That's not a problem. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. Yeah, so uh, you can store it in your garage because the wings fold. So if you don't have to pay for hangar space, you can just trailer it over. Or you can park it under the wing of maybe one of your friend's high wings. So, <laughs> I, so think, I think you can, you, you can probably hide two or three of these under some <laughs> people's airplanes. But it's a lovely little airplane. What is? Give me some of the specs on it. What's the uh, empty weight? What's the gross weight? So empty weight is about 420. Gross weight is 720. 720. What kind of cruise speeds will we see? So, you said so 100, but 100, 100 cruise, and that's uh, that's indicated. So stall speed. Stall speed is 45. Climb rate with this engine. This. So here's the the uh, the challenge is. We developed it at eight, uh, basically 8,000 feet density altitude in Western Colorado. <laughs> so we're having fun climbing it here near sea level. So uh, We paid our oxygen bill down here. Yeah, that's you right. guys forgot, evidently. That's right, that's right. Now we're looking at the uh, an airplane that's got the wing folded on it, which means I suppose they all fold. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the folding wing mechanism. Sure, yeah, it takes about uh, a minute per wing if you're slow like me and 30 seconds per wing if you're fast. Really? Yeah, we, uh, we designed the airplane so it would be affordable in a number of ways, including the store. And so the idea is whether you park it under the wing of a 
friend's high wing in their hangar or put it in your second bay of your garage or something that you'd have an easy opportunity to store it. You guys have you spent 10 years getting this ready, but it, you've obviously done a lot of very good thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, we got some smart designers on the team, so. What, what is the size of the total team, by the way? I didn't ask you that. How many people involved with Spirit? Oh, see, that's uh, there's a lot of people that would claim spirit. How many do we? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> there's about 25 of us, right? 25. Very impressive. Okay, so tell me the the folding wing. Uh, what effort does it take? What do you have to do? What are the steps to fold the wing? People are curious about that kind of stuff. Sure. So, um, right, if it's uh, already out, then uh, there's a, a pin that you remove, and then there's a, a stow rod that you'll also remove that's stored in the wing. Now, now that, that's out at the tip, isn't it? Uh, the, now the, the stow rod is stored in, in the wing. Once, I see. once you remove the pin, you can release the wing. Let it, you can let it slide down to a nice neutral position. And then uh, you can use that rod to pull the wing to the tail and pin it to the tail. So it's uh, ah, really so, a simple ah, It's the operation. same rod that stores in that's the right. wing. And then you take it to the back and, and use it to support the tail. Right. And so if, then if you're going to unfold it, you're going to do the same thing in reverse. You're going to take the pin out of the tail, slide it over with the rod, store the rod, pull the uh, wing in place. The aileron also um, it disengages and folds pretty quickly. So uh, the you, aileron you do, as well? Yeah, you have to do that to fold the okay, wing. Okay, yeah, I see it's flipped back up over the wing here in That's this right. picture. So, All right, now are you saying that once you pull that rear support off, the wing will just like swing out? It doesn't, you don't have to be out there and support it carefully the whole time? Oh, well, we would never recommend anybody throw it down, but no, <laughs> it's, right. it, it, it will swing free. It's as long as you've got enough ground clearance, it's just fine. Very impressive. In addition to surprising everybody with an airplane, we're surprising folks with an engine. <laughs> so we looked for the right partner uh, with an engine and didn't find what we wanted on the market, and so we decided to develop our own. So it's a clean sheet design. It's an inverted V, 42 horsepower at 3,000 RPM, uh, brand new engine. It uses uh, blow by scavenging dry sump uh, to get the oil around. Amazing, and how much horsepower? It's 42. 42 horsepower. That's right. And and obviously four stroke. And four stroke, yeah, yes. We didn't mention that, but yeah, that obviously it is. No, yes. that is important, that's a good call. Yeah, yeah, so, excellent. Give me your full name, if you would, please, because there's two of you here with the same first name, so yep. what's that My about? My name is Josiah Wilson, as opposed to Josiah Vanderbilt. <laughs> okay, very good. And Josiah, you're, they explained that you were kind of the engine guru. So tell me some yep. things about this engine. And it's a V twin. It's a V twin, 90 degrees. All right. So Why V? What, what's good about V? V has a few advantages for an airplane. One is that it keeps the crankshaft high to increase ground clearance. Okay. And it also keeps the carburetor low, which helps us make it a gravity flow fuel system. Uh, the packaging is also tighter than an opposed because it brings the silver ah, yeah. together and makes the cowl narrower. You've got quite a taper on the nose. What kind of power does it make? It makes 42 horsepower at 3,000 RPM. 3,000, okay. Yep. And what kind of fuel burn does it have at, uh, let's say, just max cruise? Or not max cruise, but high cruise. Our, our preferred cruise speed is 100 miles an hour, and at that speed, with a little bit of altitude, our burn is two gallons an hour. <laughs> two gallons an hour. Yep. Love that. What kind of fuel? Uh, it either runs 91 octane mo gas or 100 low lead. Okay. We run a bit of both. Excellent. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. I think that's uh, good information about the engine. Best of luck with that. Yep. And I want to clarify one thing for people. This is not a kit. It's not a kit. You're gonna, you can fly, well, you put, we'll put the cowl back on for you, but you, what you see is what you'll get. <laughs> Amazing, $69,500 here in 2025, and that's ready to fly for this handsome little airplane. That's right. Great job, guys. Yeah, thank you, Dan. Where do we find you on the web for those that want to get lots more detail and information? Yeah, so we just launched our website. It's spiriteng.com, easy to find, and you'll be able to see some more pictures, get all the specifications, and uh, put some interest in an order. Spirit ENG, like engine, yeah. so spiriteng.com. Right. Very good. We'll look for you there. And there you have it, the aircraft that charmed a whole lot of people at Oshkosh. Glad you enjoyed it.